this one's called, Will You Be My Valenswine? Not Valentine, but Valenswine. What is that? What is a swine? What is a swine? Anybody know what a swine is? Another word for a swine? Pig. A pig is a swine. Yeah. And pigs play with in I thought it, it rhymes with swan, I guess. Swine and swan. A little bit. Not exactly. But she says, will you be my valentine swine instead of valentine? This is a sweet little story, and it rhymes, and I love rhyming stories. On Valentine's Day, little Piggy began to mope and whine, for that pouting pig named Polly did not have a valance wine. <laughs> he has a funny face, man. He does have a funny face. <laughs> While the stallion had his mare, and even Ram said, I love you, Polly thought she had no one to send hearts and flowers to. What is a U, not Y-O-U, but E-W-E-U? What is it? A, like, A-B-C-D's. A-B-C-D's? But you know what? A what a, another word for a sheep is? A U E W E. That's what the girl sheep is called, yes. Lamb. Yes, Lamb. that's right. So everybody had somebody to call their valentine except Polly. She went slumping round the pig pen with a bad case of the grumps till her mother asked her gently, why are you so down in the dumps? I have no balance one, she sighed. I just want somebody sweet, someone with a loving voice to make me feel complete. I need a balance one to make me feel all warm and full inside. She longed to have a balance one so much she nearly cried. You need fresh air, her mother said. Go out and think things through. I'm sure you'll see if given time that someone here loves you. His mom. I think His you mom. might be right. I His think you mom. might be right. Yes. His mom is bigger than you. Yeah, because he's she's the mama. Polly puttered in the pasture, sniffling sadly through her snout. Then she sniffed again. That's something sweet. So she quickly turned about. There were roses twining on the fence. Oh, Rose, you are divine. So please tell me you will be my balance wine. So she's talking to the roses. She's <laughs> got big ears. Roses don't talk. Uh, they, no. just, they just hang on the You're fence right, Kimber. You are right. But Roses. I got a my Don't they, grow on fences. Sometimes they do if they're climbing roses. My, I have roses that grow all up my trellis in my front yard. They grow all around my trellis. They're called climbing roses. But the roses didn't say a word to answer Polly's call. Her piglet heart was broken. She had no one at all. Her mother gave that pig a squeeze. Oh, Polly, please don't pout. Just look around. There's someone here who loves you. Tail to snout. What's a snout? Uh, no, no. Nose, that's right. That's what the pig's nose is called, a snout. <laughs> so her mama said, there's somebody here that loves you from your curly little tail all the way up to your snout. Polly headed to the forest where she heard a sparrow's song. Oh, how pretty, Polly said. This time, I know I can't be wrong. You have a lovely lilting voice. You make the merriest shine. So tell me, little sparrow, that you'll be my one true valentine. But they can only 
do this. Yep. What do you think that sparrow's gonna do? No. Whacker. Bird. Bird can't sing. Right. The bird just kept on singing. She ignored that piglet's call. Poor Polly's heart was broken. She had no one at all. Oh, Piddle, said her mother, giving Polly a quick pat. I think you'll find someone here who loves you more than that. Her mom. I think her you mom. might be right. Her mom. Do your dad. Polly wandered through the barnyard, spying fresh slop in the trough. What's slop? Mud. Well, it's the what the, that's what they call what they put in the trough for the pigs to eat. It's usually all the scraps and things from pigs dinner. Pigs eat apples. They do eat apples, you're right. Pigs will just about eat anything. So the slop that goes, they call it slop when they put it in the, the um, trough for the pigs to eat. And they eat seeds. Yeah, they eat just about anything. She slurped and gobbled and gurgled and chomped. Then she licked the drippings off. She felt all warm inside. Oh, slop, I love to dine. So please tell me that you will be my Valenswine. Uh, I think. Can the slop talk back to her? No, no. slop can't talk. No, slop can't talk. talk. She's so silly. The slop just lay there silent. It ignored that piglet's call. Poor Polly's heart was broken. She had no one at all. But what about the chickens? I know she didn't ask the chickens, did she, Kimber? <laughs> and chickens can't talk. No, chickens but... Chickens can't talk, but they can go like that. That's right. Kimber has lots of chickens They're at her house. Talking. Her mother came and kissed her. Polly cuddled and she sighed. I love you, said her mother, and Polly felt all warm inside. Her mother's voice was loving, and her mother's words were sweet. Her smile made Polly feel warm and full. Her love made her complete. Oh, mother, said Polly, please say that you'll be mine. Right now I see that you are, for me, the perfect balance one. She finally figured it out, didn't she? Mm -hmm. That her mama loved her more than anybody, and she was the perfect balance wine for her. Hey, when that, if they keep doing that, their noses look weird. Yeah. Her mother smiled as Polly yawned. They snuggled by their stall. For Polly's big discovery was no surprise at all. Yay. Next week is Valentine, isn't it?